Hi there, and welcome to the follow-up uh, from our Shark Indicators uh, webinar event. So we're looking here at uh, the uh, Euro Futures contract on a Lizard Renko chart. Three to six trend reversal setting here. Maybe I'll just quickly show you here a couple of the, the other preset fixed value bars that we have in addition to the Lizard Renko. So if you wanted to use uh, the D Renko, you could you do that as well with a tick trend setting of three. D is for double, so that is a one to two ratio. So by setting this to three, you would also have a one to two ratio. So a uh, trend of uh, three ticks and um, a reversal requirement of six ticks. And then we also have the T Renko and the Q Renko. T is for triple, so that would be a one to three. And a trend setting of three would uh, translate to a reversal setting of nine. And Q Renko's for quadruple, so one to four. Again, a Trend setting of three would translate to a reversal setting of 12. And uh, we'll uh, just start building the entry logic in blood on here. As you will recall, we're looking at this uh, time window here from uh, five o'clock till eight o'clock my time in European Central. And uh, to isolate this uh, high here from uh, five o'clock in the morning to this uh, low here at around uh, seven um, and the close of the opening range here at eight we're going to use the opening range indicator premium version we'll find that here in the lizard trader folder for our premium indicators so you go in here, you choose custom hours for that, and then you define the exchange time. The Euro futures contract is traded at the CME in Chicago. So this time here, 2200, translate to five o'clock in the morning, my time. And the opening range period being three hours, and we'll use the range extension bands based on the opening range. And then we will adjust the plot display here as well. Turn off the pre-session levels. They're not relevant for this setup. Show the range bands. And uh, then we'll also add here the Ichimoku for validating the breakouts. We're using the composite trend, just the default settings here. We're using the Kumo, the Kijun Sen, and the Tenkan Kijun Cross. These are the default settings. And if you want to know more about the particulars of the different Ichimoku plots and the concept behind this indicator, you can refer to the blog at uh, Lizard Indicators. We have a previous uh, issue of our indicator spotlight focusing on the Ichimoku and uh, it is explained in detail there. So have a look at that if you're not familiar with this. And then I will just deactivate the plots here to focus on the trend in the paint bars simply. And finally here from the lesser indicator suite, we will add the Renko tools to show us the close of the previous bar and the Renko projections for the close of the current bar. So these are the plots that we have activated here. We'll uh, deactivate the other plots here for now. And then of course, <clears throat> in building the strategy, we will need to add Bloodhound here to this as well. Hit OK and we should be ready to go. Here we see the opening range um, plotting from five o'clock 
till eight o'clock here, and then we're looking for breakouts from this range. We see one lining up here. If you go back a little bit here, we can see that uh, we're interested in this bar here where we have a close above the opening range low and a Renko projection just uh, hitting the uh, opening range uh, low level. And this one as well would qualify as a setup. And so uh, we'll go in now and to Bloodhound and see how we can define these uh, conditions to create our strategy. And uh, we'll do that with the indicator comparison here add that and so we'll just start here with the Renko close and we will use here the reference value from the Renko tools this is for strategies that are running on bar close so we have that here, if you're running on the calculate on price change or on each tick, you should use the current close. So you have those two options to choose from here. And uh, then we will compare this to the opening range. As we just defined it on the chart, we will mirror that here. So go ahead here and set the extension band type to opening range. And we'll have here Session type is custom. And we're looking at the opening range high for long <clears throat> and vice versa for short. And we want the close to be below the opening range. And vice versa for short. So it's at range low like so. We're going to do something uh, similar with the Renko projection. So we can just copy this and then work with the plots here. Renko projection. Hello. Needs to be above or below the opening range, high and low. And here. Again, make the distinction here between the calculate on price close and calculate on price change or each tick. So next bar projection high and low is uh, for the close option, calculate on bar close. And so we define those accordingly versus the opening range. In this case, for long, we want the projection to be above the opening range high. And the Renko projection low, below the opening range low. Okay, and then uh, we're going to add a uh, trend reading of the composite trend. Bichimoko very easy and straightforward working with these indicator plots. So that's uh, one of the huge values of working with our indicators. Again, here we have the default trend settings. So the Kijun and the Kumo and the Tenkan Kijun cross are set to true. That then will reflect the composite trend as available from this data series here. Click that and simply make a comparison to a fixed 
a value. This is a data series. So it will be positive for long trends and negative for shorts. Finally here, we will uh, want to add a time session solver to tell our strategy only to consider setups that uh, plot on a completed opening range, i.e. after the three hour time window has completed from the opening range start. Add this here and uh, I will show you how you can define that here with the shark tool. You can also add, of course, your own custom session template here. But for now, I think we'll just use the scheduler here. So uh, this is running up until the uh, pre-session for the US market, which I think is uh, reasonable, uh, the opening range uh, plotting. Prior to the pre-session in the EU market is only relevant for so long. So it's going from one o'clock in the morning, CME time, Chicago time until five o'clock. And so of course you have to make the adjustments here as well. Time zone will be US central. And we find that here. And now we can go ahead and make the adjustments here for the balance of the week. <clears throat> okay. And that is pretty much uh, the solvers that we're going to work with here. Let's just go into the logic and add them. Like so. Connect them via a logic node and and go into the charts here and refresh and here we have the setup that we were looking for here so it is actually looking at this setup here the close from this bar and the projection of this bar. So we will, from this signal, be able to set a stop order here just below the opening range low. And uh, I will show you how to do that in the next video coming up here. For now, I suggest that you just uh, go ahead and replicate this uh, on your computer um, so that you will know how to set this up on your end. And then uh, when you're finished doing that, we'll meet up uh, again and I'll show you how to pull this uh, into Blackbird. Alrighty, see you in a bit.